Hi guys, hope you're all fitting well. Um, today I've got a little bit of a different kind of video for you where I'm just going to be kind of real and raw and talking at you very openly. Um, so through my social media, um, YouTube, Instagram, you'll see me throwing heavy ass weights around and being really positive um, because those are the things I believe in, strength and spreading positivity. Um, but I don't just want to paint a picture um, of those two things. Yep, yeah, I'm not so one-dimensional. I don't want you to just see a guy who's strong, six foot two, two hundred thirty pounds, always positive. Um, who's going to relate to that? And it doesn't show all sides of me. Um, I, that, I am certainly that way. That's who I have uh, grown to be, but not without work. Um, so I believe in strength and I believe strength is a choice that you make. I do believe you can change, but I do believe it's completely up to you. Um, you have to make a choice. Um, and sometimes people haven't felt enough pain, um, or they're too comfortable in the position they are to want to make that change. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit of a background story about me, um, why I believe in strength and why I do believe it is your choice. Um, at the age of 10, I made a huge life changing decision for not just myself, but for my sister. Um, 10 years old. I grabbed my sister and we, we ran away from home. We ran away to save our lives, to change our lives, because the conditions that we'd been living in since I was maybe three or four were terrible uh, conditions where we were raised um, in fear, um, in suffering, in unhappiness. Um, we were moved around school to school. Um, I think I went to maybe three or four schools before I was 10, so didn't have the opportunity to make any friends. Um, the home life was always lived on high alert in fear of being um, beaten, punished for whatever. Um, when most kids were worrying about the parents taking them to McDonald's, we were worrying if we were even going to be fed. Um, at times we used to eat toothpaste because we were so fucking hungry. Um, so yeah, often beaten for the most ridiculous of things, but what was more painful than that was having to hear my sister being treated the same way when I couldn't do anything about it. I was just a young lad and she would be punished for maybe things that I had done or maybe that I hadn't done. Um, uh, so we both had a bit of a rough time. Um, I could deal with it for the most part, um, which I'd done so through self-harming, pulling my fingernails off. I mean, what, what kind of eight-year-old kid does that kind of thing? Uh, that was my coping mechanism. Um, so school life um, was very hard. Um, obviously couldn't concentrate, wasn't getting any work done, couldn't make friends, I was always fighting. Um, yeah, so I first ran away at eight years old. I actually memorized the route, which was eight miles um, to a place we used to go every weekend. My grandparents, um, which was a happy, safe place. I memorized that at age eight. And I ran there, but I, I was brought back. Um, then the second time at 10 years old, it was getting too much and I didn't think we were gonna survive. Um, I couldn't bear hearing my sister being put through the same thing as me. So we both ran um, and this time we didn't go back. It was a very, very painful thing to go through, having to leave uh, your mother behind and two sisters behind. Um, and I do believe, I don't think she knew a lot of what was going on, or if she did, she was powerless because she was uh, put through the same thing. So at 10 years old, I made a very, very 
brave decision to get away and to change my mine and my sister's life for the better. Um, and yeah, so here we are today. I'm not going to give you everything. Um, there was a lot that went on after that, but that was certainly the main change to where and who I am today. Um, and I guess by sharing this, I just want to let you know that no matter what pains you're going through, what troubles you're going through, that there is hope that you can change your life, but it's up to you. You have to make the decision, just as I did. You, you gotta, you gotta run. You gotta run to that safe place, to that hopeful place, to your dreams, to what you want to achieve. Um, yeah, I just want people to believe that they can change. So that's sharing a little bit of my story up until the age of 10. Um, I will share more in a later date. Um, and I do believe by sharing this story that it will help other people. That's what I want to get from this. It may hurt a few people, uh, family members, them seeing this also, but that's not what this is about. This is about sharing where I come from that strength is a choice, positivity is a choice. Um, this was my choice and, you know, I don't know where I would have been if I'd never made that decision to run. I don't know where my sister would be without that decision to run. Both very successful people now. Um, I'm a personal trainer, weightlifting coach, um, produced musician in electronic dance music, um, own my own clothing label. My sister's very successful in her field too. And that is down to making a choice and believing that there is something better for you regardless of what pain that you're going through. So guys, please share this video. Um, please comment on this video if it has helped you. And please subscribe because I'm going to show more of this side of who I am, how I got to be where I am, not just lifting heavy weights, not just being this positive guy. And I'll share with you things that I've done to get me to this position. Thank you very much. Peace out.